Late Night Health continues. Hour 2. I'm Mark Allen. Uh, During this hour, we're going to spend some time in about 30 minutes with Brent Hunter. He's written a book called The Power of KM. And it's uh, harnessing the extraordinary value of knowledge management. And we're going to talk to him about how we can put that to use in our daily lives. And this half hour, we're going to spend some time with our good friend, David Foreman. I just saw Dave, uh, the herbal pharmacist in Las Vegas, about three weeks ago. Uh, actually, we took, we took a picture together. I know, we did. And that was, was kind uh... of at uh, Supply Side West. So it was uh, it was it was nice to spend three minutes with David because he's he's very busy and doesn't have time for us. But that's okay. Um, do we say congratulations, David, or do we save that for next time? Uh, yeah, probably next time. I'm, right. uh, I I do have a date scheduled the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I will no longer be a single man. I will be. A married man again, so yeah. I'm Congratulations! Getting, mar- get, getting married, uh, a really small thing down in, uh, in, in well, down. It depends on where you live, and you're listening to the show. So how about I just say in, in California, uh, San Diego, in yeah, California yeah, area, yeah, Southern California. And then if you're on living on the East Coast, listening to this, you're going, well, it's actually West, not South. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to yeah. talk about the four pillars of health and concentrate on heart disease. Heart disease is still I believe the number one killer in the U.S. is it not? Yeah, it's the number one killing disease uh, here in the United States. It's been that way for it seems like forever. Um, it, you know, like since I was in pharmacy school, and, and I'm I'm celebrating my 30th anniversary of graduating from pharmacy school. Um, you know, and, and I, one of the questions I always get, Mark, you know, ask Mark is like, so why why is it still number one? And, um, you know, I really feel like even though we've learned an awful lot, we're, we haven't learned a lot. Like, you know, I, I feel like if you really learn something, like the, like the next half hour, you're talking about knowledge, right? Right. You're talking, yeah. Well, you know, I always feel like, you know, people need to become more knowledgeable about the diseases that they either have or they want to prevent. And, and I feel like that's where we derail. People just, you know, like the topic today of, of heart disease and like four foods that people think are heart healthy, you know, and may not be. And, it, you know, and, I, and so um, it, it's just sad to me because I, I feel like it's a disease that's easily preventable and treatable, but no one under, people don't understand there's, there's lack of knowledge. And well, let's talk, we about, shed some. let's talk about food. Uh, I just got a new barbecue. Um, my barbecue went south in June. Uh, we are now recording in October, and I've had a barbecue now for two weeks. I've grilled vegetables. I've grilled fish. I grilled uh, turkey burgers, and I looked at the fat content of those, and I went, oops, we goofed on that one. Um, but we've, we've cut down our red meat intake, mm-hmm. and there is nothing better to me than a, an organic uh, uh, you know, piece of meat that you yeah. grill and and it, it just you smoke it maybe, and I think it's it, you know it tastes good. Uh, there's a lot of protein in it. Of course, there are a lot of trans fats, so it's it's not really uh, super healthy. Once in a while, I think it's okay. So that would be my first thought: is cheating, if you will, once in a while okay no for sure i a matter of fact that's one of the i think i think what sets me apart from a lot of other health experts is that i'm a realist you know and i don't ever paint myself to be on this health ivory tower you know uh, one of my favorite stories to tell is i'm a huge baseball fan and i can tell you right now if you see me at a baseball game i'm probably gonna have a beer in one hand and a bag of peanuts in the other and a hot dog in your third hand well, you know, it's so funny. Like, if I go to a Dodger game, I'm having a Dodger dog, I'm telling you. I mean, it's probably <laughs> gross. And when I go to Chicago, I have a brat, you know, but I don't eat brats every day. I don't eat hot dogs every day. I don't eat, you know, bags of peanuts every day. So, yeah, everything in moderation. I'm telling Mark, the other night, I um, found uh, two really great-looking uh, steaks 
that were organic grass-fed beef by far the best tasting meat you can find you know when it comes to beef mm-hmm. and 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 fired up the charcoal i have an old school charcoal grill and uh barbecued those puppies and and just like you i, I barbecued a uh, a whole uh sweet onion uh and a poblano pepper but yeah cheating is fine the problem i have with cheating though is that it was when I tell people you can do that once a week, they think, eh, I can do it two or three. Got and it. So, you know, it, it really does take some self control. And, and so, and the other thing is, is like, how bad off are you already? Like, if, if you are already, you know, you're already debilitated by cardiovascular disease, you know, you've had a stroke, you've had a heart attack, you have really bad arrhythmia, something along those lines, then you know what? I got to say, you probably shouldn't have. You shouldn't eat those foods even occasionally. You need to get things fully under control before you can start taking your foot off the gas a little bit. And so, you, you know, and, and so that's where I think people really derail as they go, oh, man, well, you know, if he had a steak, then I could have it twice a week. And, and again, if you really are screwed up already, and I don't mean to say people are screwed up, but if you really already have that health issue, then you know what? You probably need to be seriously hardcore about avoiding foods that are we know are bad for you. Exactly. Uh, Our guest is the uh, herbal pharmacist, Dave Foreman, David Foreman, and we're talking about heart disease. Let's talk about some of the foods that people think are heart healthy but may not be. I want to start with salmon. Okay. Uh, It's my wife's favorite fish. You know Carol. And yep. it's my wife's favorite fish. I, if, if we're grilling fish, that's the one that she always asks for. Lately, I have been noticing a sustainable uh, salmon available uh, at Whole Foods. Uh, the price is right, uh, and they have it year-round, even when wild salmon is not available, which I do buy if I can, if I can get it, and it's not $30 a pound. Yeah, well, so here's the thing with salmon. Oh, the reason the reason it's quote heart healthy is salmon's high in in and essential fatty acids called omega three. Right, and we, we you know even the Heart Association embraces that a, a diet high in omega threes can go a long way at, at either you know preventing or treating cardiovascular disease and and so salmon is really a, a it is a heart healthy food. Where I have a hang up is. Um, one, uh, there's a couple of hangups that could, could pre- present themselves. One is there, there is a sustainability issue. So if you're into the, you know, you're into that, um, you know, then you're going to have to buy farm raised. Well, then farm raised, I question the nutritional value of farm raised because those fish are trapped in a specific area and they're, they're relying on us to figure out what exactly they need to, to be, you know, to grow and be raised healthy and all that stuff. And if you look at the farm-raised stuff in your grocery store, wherever you're picking it up, versus the wild-caught, there's a significant difference in how they look. One, there's a richer, pinker, you know, uh, that salmon color people talk about uh, in, in a, wild, a wild-caught a wild salmon. Um, the fat layers look different. The, the, what, so the way the, the, the flesh looks is just so different. Um, so I, I question the nutrition value of, 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 of farm-raised. And then there's the whole thing of you really need to eat salmon about three times a week to get the omega threes to be heart healthy. Well, and, our bodies. And, our, that was a question I was going to ask regarding supplementation in omega threes. Is that our bodies are not overly efficient at taking all the nutrients out of out of our food supply? For example, I was told by. Uh, 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 a medical doctor who does, did research on vitamin D, you'd have to eat like 10 or 12 pounds of broccoli a day to absorb enough vitamin D just for the bare minimum. And right. so he said you have to supplement with something that's bioavailable. Would you agree right. with that? Yeah, I, I do actually agree with that. I'm, um, you know, I mean, I do know that... So here's the thing. Like, if you're really concerned about omega-3s, there's actually a test kit people can now get. It's actually a do-at-home test kit. I, I wrote an article on my it's on my blog called Know Your Number, and I have a link to to learn more about the omega three test kit. But um, you know, you know, if you feel like your diet's high enough on omega threes, then get these test kits and find out because the average American has a score of below four. 
We know that a number below four increases your risk of cardio cardiovascular disease by up to 90%. Oh, my. Um, we need to have around an eight um, to, to really be in that heart healthy range. I did mine, actually, I did mine when we were in Vegas together at the supply event, and mine was a 9.51, which is excellent. Um, and it's because, I, yes, I do eat salmon, but I only eat it maybe once a week. Um, but I do take krill oil, K-R-I-L-L, krill oil. And the reason I take krill oil is, it, 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 you talked about bioavailability. It's, it's, so, it's easily digested and very bioavailable compared to fish oil. Fish oil, a lot of people burp it up. Um, they don't like the size of the capsules. Um, and so I feel like that's a little bit more challenging for people to really get a bump on their omega-3 index score, whereas krill oil, you're not gonna burp it up. Um, really small capsules, you don't have to take as much of it. Um, it's high in an antioxidant called astaxanthin, the same antioxidant that gives salmon that, that, that dark color. And I and, hate when they add the color to it, and a lot of oh them, God, yeah. it's awful. I, uh, we're gonna have to take some time out, do some business. When we come back, we'll continue. I wanna talk about oatmeal, because that's my favorite cold weather breakfast is, is oatmeal and maybe we'll even get into eggs uh, i'm mark allen along with the insane daryl wayne our guest is the herbal pharmacist david foreman don't go away more coming up visit us at late you'll see david's picture and bio and more information about uh, the four pil- pillars of health as well don't go away we'll be back Welcome to Guide to the Soul. This is Robert Clancy. Opening your heart is the only way to allow all the light in. Unconditional love does exist, but it takes trust, something not a lot of people are willing to give. But how can you expect it if you don't provide it too? All hearts are refillable, rechargeable, and renewable. So why worry about being burned? By giving, you have everything to gain. Think of how beautiful your life would be if someone loved you without barriers, gave all of their heart to you without conditions, and wrapped their soul around you like it was your last day on earth. Today, you can be that person for someone else. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHealth.com. Are you being audited and do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The tax doctor is here to help you negotiate a lower tax bill. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts. But you can stop these IRS actions. The tax doctor will fight for you using industry secrets that can stop any IRS actions, eliminate penalties and interest, and reduce your past tax bill. So you pay the IRS less. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, call the tax doctor now for a free IRS audit emergency review. 800-663-5107. 800-663-5107. 800-663-5107. That's 800-663-5107. 